Hey everyone, this is Yvette from Gleaming with Evie. I'm a licensed esthetician here in Los Angeles, California. I do facials, lashes, and brows, and that is what this channel is all about. So if you're into any of that, make sure to subscribe down below so you can see a lot more of my work and a lot more of what it's like to be an esthetician. In today's video, I have one of my clients who is, we like to focus on anti-aging and her pigmentation that she has around her cheek area so for today's video i'm actually going to be performing some microdermabrasion on her started off with the vital c hydrating cleanser from image skincare this is a cream cleanser i personally love to use it as a first cleanse for that reason because it's a cream cleanser and it's just gonna help with hydrating the skin as well as remove any makeup dirt or debris that may be on there. It's just perfect for prepping the skin for the second cleanse. Then I just go in with some facial sponges and I just make sure to remove all of that product. Already I feel like her skin is already looking nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah, just going around the eye area with these sponges. I want to make sure to remove all that product because it is a cream. And I do feel like if you leave some behind, the next um, cleanser doesn't emulsify as much. The second cleanse, I do use the Image Skin Care Ageless Cleanser. This is a glycolic cleanser, so it is a little bit exfoliating. It really helps with pigmentation and any dryness that you may have. Again, like I said earlier, this does help start the exfoliating process, so it just preps your skin for the exfoliation that we're about to go into, which in this case is microdermabrasion. Just working it in, massaging it, it's all about the experience i talked about steam and lashes before and how i do it with my clients i use steam even if they have lashes on it doesn't make them fall off much faster i at least i haven't noticed as long as i'm careful enough so just i'm just very careful around the lashes but i do use steam with my clients who have lash extensions I'm just going to remove that again with some facial sponges. Make sure to rinse them with water real quick and then I just reuse them. Just make sure to get all that product out. Now this cleanser does have some menthol in it and it, because it has glycolic acid, you do feel a little sensation. So I make sure to remove it all completely.
just prepping her skin for microdermabrasion. I use witch hazel for this process. That is what I was taught to use. This is just a degreaser in a way to make sure that there is, that her skin is prepped for the microdermabrasion. Okay, so I do always do a little test swipe. Just ask them, you know, make sure nothing hurts, nothing bothers them. And then I go ahead and get started with the microdermabrasion. I make sure that the suction isn't too much just because it does end up, it could end up hurting them or causing some like pigmentation or scarring instead of helping with making things better. So I did just make sure to keep it at a low suction and I used different tips for different. Um, so I am just gonna speed this up for you guys just so it's not super boring. And I'll just let you all watch. So here I am going around the eye area with another more softer tip. It's not as abrasive. And I end up going all over the face with that tip. Then I go in with another tip that's specifically meant to go around the nose area and I make sure to really focus on her nose. Once I'm done with all of that, I go in with the Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. This is an enzyme mask, so it does cause some heat and it is exfoliating gently, but it is a very hydrating mask. It has, it, well, it is packed with antioxidants. It's gonna help with brightening her skin and really help with her pigmentation turning on the steam of course just to really activate that enzyme and i'm just working it in with my brush and letting her relax i do like to bring it down to her decollete just because i know well her neck and part of her decollete just because i know she likes me treating that area as well Once I'm done with that, I do go ahead and remove the mask with a nice warm steam towel. You can use a cold towel because we did just finish a double exfoliation in a way, but I personally like a warm towel. I feel like it just really, unless it's a peel or something that's like really intense on the skin, I feel like a warm towel always feels really nice. Next, I'm going in with the Ormetic Balancing Gel Mask from Image Skincare. This is, I mainly use it to balance out their skin, any redness or irritation, it helps soothe that. But I do use it so that, under a jelly mask, just so that it can really penetrate deep into the skin and help soothe and calm. I'm just gonna work that in with a brush. Then I did use a 24 karat gold jelly mask. This is an anti-aging mask. It's gonna help with tightening her skin while at the same time brightening and giving her a nice glow. I did speed up the application a little bit just so I don't bore you with it. I don't have the best application so definitely check out other people applying a jelly mask so you can see how it should be done. Well how it's done neater. There's nothing more relaxing like a jelly mask moment along with a nice relaxing massage. So definitely add on a jelly mask to your next service. Ask your esthetician if it's not me, if they offer a jelly mask and tell them you want a nice relaxing massage with your jelly mask and it's seriously, you're gonna fall right to sleep.
just gonna remove that jelly mask so i'm just making sure to take it off from around the edges first lift it a little bit all over and then today i decided to roll it off but sometimes i do just lift it off it's just some places were thinner than others and so i had to roll it off now i'm just gonna go in with a nice warm steam towel just to finish all of this off i do use the decollete warm towel just to finish off the massage as well it was nice warm I'm going to go in with the Ormetic Balancing Antioxidant Serum. This is really nice to, again, balance the skin, soothe it, give it a nice glow. And then I'm following that up with the Vital C Recovery Hydrating Eye Recovery Gel. This is an eye cream. And then I've follow that up with the cactine moisturizer one of my favorite it has aqua cactine so it does help with well it, it comes from a cactus so it does help with soothing and hydrating your skin reduces any redness it is amazing for all skin types combination to normal skin types just do that follow it up with some spf i love the dermalogica spf on my clients they don't complain about it feeling too oily or heavy and it just leaves a beautiful glow. Next, I am going to be using the Hermetic Lip Treatment from Image Skincare. I love finishing off my facials with this lip treatment. It just gives them that final touch and hydration. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Bye.